You having sex with her? No. Uh, I don't think so. You don't think so? Would you like me to refresh your memory just a little no, bit? it's okay. Well, it all come out when it comes out. Yeah. Um, were, what were your intentions when you came to Flagler Beach today besides just going for a ride? That was it. Did you tell Lindsay that there were other um, things that you wanted to do? I said we'll go out and uh, look at the last brunch transcript from yesterday, I think. I said, well, come by and go for a ride and get a bite to eat, and I'll take you back home. Mm -hmm. And so um, in, in earlier conversations when you said that you were going to meet, um, what was going to be happening in those com in those well, we were, we meetings? Well, we were around a lot, like, you know, people do in chat. It's uh -huh. pretty open. Mm -hmm. We around a lot. What did you kid about? We talked about I mean, Charles, honestly, <clears throat> I'm just letting you know that, that we're we're here to to help you because I know, I know. honestly, this is a little overwhelming for us. So we're kind of trying to figure out what's going on too. Um, we talked about a lot of things. We mm -hmm. talked about previous sexual experiences. We talked about uh, old boyfriends, problems with old boyfriends, and uh, a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So when you had conversations with her about you having sex with her that was kidding around? Yeah. Uh, Kids do that. Mm -hmm. And how old is she? She told me she was 15. She told you she was 15? If the transcript said that she had told you she was 13, would that be possible that maybe you're mistaken? I might have been, but I don't think so. Okay. Um, and so um, when you were kidding around, because I know you wouldn't have hurt someone, you know, I mean, especially somebody 13 or 15, either way. But when you were kidding around about, are those hurting you too? Yeah, these things are stiff. Not really yeah, possible. no, they're not. They're not. And we won't be much longer. We'll I just. Steel one, you know, you yeah. Well, um, the steel ones are probably <clears throat> actually a little more flexible, even though those are called flexible. Yeah. They don't have the sharp edges on them. Right, right. And, and like oh, I said, ahead. we, won't, we won't be much longer, but I did want to. Um, uh, talk with you and give you the opportunity to let us know what's going on and if there's been a misunderstanding and you know you've explained to me that because it's a chat room you feel like it's just like a joking kidding kind yeah, of thing is, you yeah. know it's, it's uh, one of the chat the chat room I go in is uh, uh, I don't know, I will say it's pretty crazy I mean as far as people joking around and kidding around mm -hmm. And what particular chat room is that? Florida One. Florida One. And you, you've got the screen name Greg Dash Green ninety eight. Do you have any other screen names that yeah, you use? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I do have one. I use uh, Fast Train to Georgia. Fast Train to Georgia. Well, it's well, like I said, people flew around that room a lot. And uh huh. People are coming in and screaming and yelling. Uh, Fast Train to Georgia. Uh huh. Fast Train to Georgia. The vulgarity of the stuff that goes on in there and when it gets kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. I made me up with a, a song, Fast Train to Georgia. Mm -hmm. And it's really rapful, crazy guitar pick, and I made up that name. And when, crazy, when people get crazy on the, on the microphone, and I was going to that name. Play about four bars of that song. Ah, I see. Only like <clears throat> when they got vulgar. Oh, no, I, no crazy lady, crazy. <laughs> you got to go in there sometimes. Yeah, well, I'll do that actually because I was it's reading. Hard to get in now. Oh, really? It does, it's, I don't know what happened. You see, Yahoo had uh, the Yahoo rooms and then they had the Yahoo user rooms. They didn't want to know the Yahoo root user rooms. <clears throat> Florida used to be in the romance thing, but it just completely disappeared. Mm -hmm. So you have to have, be able to type a, uh, I think it's called a command string to get in there. Mm -hmm. you know, that show me. There's like 100 Florida rooms. Mm -hmm. And so, when you were talking to Lindsay the past couple of three weeks, um, most of your conversations are about cars or about sex. About well, cars, uh, hanging out, fishing. Mm -hmm. uh, that's about it. Mm -hmm. And did you talk to Lindsay about specific sex acts, like certain things, um, uh, or was it just have you had intercourse? Or Nothing bizarre or weird or anything. Mm -hmm. Did you um, try to teach her over the internet how to um, uh, reach an orgasm? I mm -hmm. And um, where her G spot was and the, the two different ways yeah, anatomy. In your anatomy and, and how, in your opinion or experience, you could reach a climax in two different ways. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know what they get in school because it's been a long time since I've been in school, but I can understand that, A, you were just educating her and also kidding anyway, right? Yeah, I saw something on TV the other day about if you don't have any that can teach the whole sex ed, they want your school now, you can't opt out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that. It's all right to have two dads now and two more Right, right. And so, um, did you talk with her about um, any other kind of sex? I don't know. I don't think so. No? It's been two or three weeks, you know. It's mm -hmm. all pretty quick. Yeah. Know. Yeah. What about, like, any kind of oral sex? Yeah, I think we did. Mm -hmm. And what did, you, what did you tell her about oral sex? Do you remember? No, not sure. No. Well, and obviously this would take me quite some time to read, so I didn't get an opportunity to read them. That's why I wanted to give you the opportunity to just let me no, know. We talked about uh, <coughs> general anatomy and past boyfriends, and unsatisfactory relationships with boyfriends, and I tried to explain to her. You know, this is probably what went on. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't work out. So you tried to educate her about anatomy, yeah. about oral sex. Well, she, uh, she already told she told me about oral sex now. Mm -hmm. And then about masturbating, yeah, how to satisfy herself and reach a climax. But you were just trying to educate her, right? Well, she asked questions and, uh, and answered. Mm -hmm. I mean, she wrote through the transcripts. Did you ever tell her, I know that, and I haven't been through the transcripts, but did you ever tell her that you were joking? Or did you ever express an interest to be with her sexually or, or meet with her today when you were going to meet with no, her, have I, any type of sexual I'm contact? I'm kidding around about things, but I, you know, when, we came, when I came down today, I said, you know, bring a good coat, uh, it's going to be cold, it's going to be cooler than we thought it was going to be, we'll ride down toward Daytona, get a bite to eat, and come back. Like, and so you didn't have any plans to have sex with her, or or were you hoping that, you know, you guys have, so, I mean, obviously you've got a, a connection with the cars and stuff like that, did you... Have any thoughts that it was going to turn out that way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, in your other conversations <clears throat> before that about meeting with her and we were kidding around. That was just kidding. Okay. All right. Well, Charles, I appreciate you talking with us and helping to sort this um, all out. Um, I wanted to let you know that um, you now you said you built that vehicle scratch. from scratch. And is there a lien against the vehicle? Um, I would I'm like to, to pardon to we're going to um, yes we're going to um, put in for a forfeiture against the vehicle so um, right now you're under arrest and did you were you able to read him the charges um, no I just let him know that he was under arrest I hadn't read him the actual charges yet um, I wanted to go over is that's going to be attempted yeah Just one minute, and I'll. Yep, and all the other ones stand except for the um, the, the black one. Yeah, the, that's a tempted too. Okay. Okay. What the charges are right now? You've got four charges against you. Okay. Um, you've got attempted lewd or lascivious conduct. You've got computer pornography. You've Um, they got transmission of harmful material to a minor. Which would be? Which would be your kidding and education about, like you said, anatomy and okay. how to okay. how to okay. Pl satisfy yourself with masturbation and oral sex okay. and all. Okay. And then contributing to the delinquency of a minor, which was also attempted. That was attempted. Um, and, and so you know, <laughs> in, in the future, you can't joke about stuff like that or kid around about well, stuff like that with somebody who's a minor. Yeah. Oh, I can. Okay, well, where um, we go next? Well, what we're going to do is I also wanted to let you know that um, right now there's a couple of officers who are searching your vehicle, or actually they're inventorying your vehicle, um, and um, if there's any contraband or anything found like that, there would be an additional charge, but right now these are the charges. Um, you're going to be taken to the Flagler County Jail in just a little while. Um, you'll need to make arrangements um, for transportation home because, like I said, we are putting in for a forfeiture um, against your vehicle. What about release on, 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 
thoughts today? Well, what you'll have to do is speak with the judge. I'm not assigning a bond, so right now you're, you have no bond. Um, you'll be seeing the judge sometime tomorrow for your first appearance, and the judge will assign a bond at that time. So right now it's just kind of a game of patience. You'll have to just be patient and find out um, what that is. But you, I just wanted to let you know ahead of time that you will be needing to make arrangements to get back home. Okay. Okay. Um, <coughs> we'll be able to make a phone call today. When you get to the Flagler County Jail and after your process and booked into the jail, then absolutely you'll be able to make a phone call. And is there anything else that you would like to tell us or um, any questions that you have? No, I don't have any questions. I made a mistake. Okay. I made a mistake. Okay. And you're, if you think of anything, you're going to go out in the hallway for just a little bit while they finish up some stuff. So if, and we'll be around. So if you've got any questions at any time, you can feel free to ask them. Okay, okay. And Charles, let me ask you one thing. Did um, through all the chaos when you were placed into the vehicle or when you arrived here, did anybody look through your billfold, or was your billfold stayed in your pocket this entire uh, time? I pulled it out of my pocket. I pulled it out of my pocket once, but I think they were just looking to, to make sure that's what. Okay. Was. If you don't mind, what I'd like to do is ask you to stand up. And um, there you go. Thank you very much. Can you get it out? Okay. Okay. Have a seat. All right. I hope you got plenty of time. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff. There. You have a concealed weapons license. Yes, um, do you have a weapon in your vehicle? No, ma'am. Okay. And um, are you currently active in the military? No, ma'am. I'm retired. You're retired Navy. Okay. How long have you been retired? Oh, I retired in '88. In '88. And I just want to let you know, I'm just making sure that there's no contraband uh -huh. or um, uh -huh. or any kind of, you know, handcuff key, anything that could poke us, stick us, anything like that, okay? All right, if you would stand back up and I'm going to put this back in your pocket. What have you got here? Oh, that's your t-shirt. Okay. Your driver's license is getting ready to expire. Yes, it is. I'm okay, sure. make sure you get that fixed, too. Okay, Charles, if you just stand up and then head out no, this right. way with me, and when you're in the hallway... Once again, no such move is, um, okay. don't stand up for anything like that. Okay? Uh -huh.